right guys, I figured I better show you this because uh, it'll probably be the only time that it looks like this. Uh, yeah. I got my pegboard up and I got my uh, bench cleared off with my new top. We reorganized everything. We got rid of uh, some of the junk that we didn't really need and put some of the stuff that we didn't have to have up here in drawers. So I'm real happy the way this came out. I think that white pegboard really makes it stand out a little better. Uh, but what are we working on now? Well, we're gonna be working on that. I still have a gas leak at the gas tank uh, and the battery doesn't wanna stay charged. So we're just charging the battery up and then we're gonna take that tank off and see if we can't fix that leak. Uh, but right now we're working on this uh, radio arm saw and uh, the last radio arm saw that my dad picked up at an auction, we turned it on two times and it burnt up. So uh, I've been firing this one up. Sounds really good. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting this thing running. Uh, one thing, the crank to crank this thing up is really hard uh, and i'm sure it's because of that right there it looks like there's a lot of uh sawdust and rust and everything else built up on that channel so that is uh one of the things that i want to do i'm going to tear this whole head unit off and uh the spring doesn't quite spring anymore so we're going to take that apart tighten everything up oil everything and get this thing going so i think it's supposed to return by itself so yeah we're working on radio arm saw here we go so i think the first thing i want to do before we start messing with that thing this is not bolted together uh that we had unbolted it when we brought it in so that way we could carry it in two separate pieces uh but i think i just want to drop some bolts i'm not going to put nuts on there but if i get pulling on this or something uh, i want to make sure that i don't pull the top off
All right, guys. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll kind of show you this up close. It's pretty grungy, pretty dirty. Not for most people's standards, but uh, for mine, yeah, uh, it shouldn't look like this. So our next step is gonna be to uh, wire wheel everything. Parts that look like this with some rust on it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get them cleaned up and throw a little bit of paint on them. Same way here. Uh, this is a little rusty. We're going to get that all cleaned up, get the, the grease off of it. The bearings are uh, loaded up with grease. They actually have these little foam things that fit on these little points here, uh, but they were shot. They just kind of fell off. So they were to scrape off any dirt so it didn't get onto these bearings. But we're going to use a uh, wire wheel and get these uh, bearings all cleaned up so that there are no issues with these. Uh, remove the metal parts like this piece here, this piece here, this piece, and uh, do the same thing. Take the plastic off, maybe sandblast it, hit it with some black paint. Everything's going to be painted if it's rusted, uh, except for this shaft. Uh, I'm just going to wire wheel this. Well, you know what? I can paint that too. I'm pretty sure I can paint that. Up here, the tolerances might get a little bit too tight to throw the fittings back on there. But yeah, all this stuff that's rusty, we're going to paint it. Everything else is going to get wiped down real good, get all the grease stripped off, and uh, put new grease on it. Inside here, you can really see that grease, how uh, it's yellowed and everything else. We'll get all that cleaned out of there uh, with brake clean or something like that, and then uh, we'll get this all cleaned up, put it back together, and see if it goes up and down a lot easier than it did before we got started on it. And I'm sure it will, because uh, this thing wasn't greased in years. So here we go. All right, guys, just wanted to show a little bit of the progress. We got the base all cleaned up. Over here, uh, we have this assembly put back together, and uh, it's on the rail. We're getting ready to put it on here, but before we do that, we got to fish all of our power cords up into the head unit and up front to the switch here, which the switch is not in there. The switch is actually right here. So, yeah, just a little bit of progress on what we're doing all right guys here it is this thing is all put together everything functions on it the locks lock the pivots pivot uh when you swing the arm it locks in at 45 degrees locks in at zero locks in at 45 but nothing has been adjusted uh there are some set screws right here and right here as well as on the other side and that adjusts this arm one way or the other so we're not sure if when we pull this out, if that is gonna cut a straight line for us or not. Now, we don't know if that is on zero. Uh, so all of our adjustments still have to be done. Uh, we do know that this arm is laying down like this, three eighths of an inch. And believe it or not, uh, I tried putting this on here by myself, couldn't do it, went and got my neighbor uh, I actually tried to hold the, the arm while my neighbor lined up the gears and all that, and we couldn't do it. So we've resorted to using the engine lift and that rope right there, tied the rope onto the back here, the front here, and uh, we held it with the engine lift and I kind of balanced it, moved it around when he was trying to fit that down in there. So if you ever take a radio arm saw apart, Make sure that you have uh, about four people to put that head unit back on that table because it is not easy. So yeah, we've run out of time for this week. Uh, the guard, the blade, that's about the only thing that needs to be put back on. This back piece and this back piece, which that back piece is laying there, 
Not much needs to be done at this point. Just make adjustments and finish up with the blade and the guard. And this project is done. We'll show you that in a part two later down the road.